right? The structure of the periodontal ligament. What exactly would you think would be the structure of a periodontal ligament? Now, till till now, all of till now, we were all studying only heart tissues. Say, for example, we were studying bone, we were studying cementum, enamel, dentin, and things like that. So now coming on to the periodontal ligament, what exactly would you think would be the structure of a periodontal ligament? Okay, so the structure of the periodontal ligament basically comprises of two structures. Okay, so or two things. One is it comprises of cells and second it comprises of fibers. Okay, uh, or I would, I, I would uh, uh, compare the periodontal ligament to a uh, mixed fruit jam okay all of you all of you have seen a mixed fruit jam right so the gel portion of the jam corresponds to the ground substance right and within this gel within this gel you have the mixed fruits different different whatever fruits that are added to the jam those individual fruits are the ones which will correspond to the cells and finally within that you have a lot of fibers because periodontal ligament as we said it's a ligament so within that you have a lot of fiber and the function of this fiber is to connect the cementum on one side to the bone on the other side so you compare this periodontal ligament to a, a jam mixed fruit jam where the gel portion of the jam is the ground substance so you have the base in which you have all the substances inside. So what are all the substances which are there inside? Number one, you should have cells. Okay, we'll come to what are those cells later. So number one, you have cells inside. And number two, most important thing, you will have the fibers. These fibers are the actual periodontal ligament fibers, which will help connecting the tooth with the alveolar bone. So th this is primarily the structure of the periodontal ligament, two important components, that is the cells and the fibers which are invested in an amorphous matrix or a gel-like matrix, which is called as your ground substance, right? Okay, so now coming on to the cells of the periodontal, uh, uh, coming on to the cells of the periodontal ligament, my topic today will not be cells because cells of the periodontal ligament will be taken by Ramesh tomorrow. So I'm going to talk about the other component that is the fibers today. But as a question, say for example, a periodontal ligament, the structure of the periodontal ligament would be asked as a separate essay question. So you need to understand that you have to write both. Although I am taking separately the fibrous component and Ramesh would be taking separately the cellular component. But as an essay question, if the structure of the periodontal ligament is asked, you have you will be you should be able to write the whole of this. Okay. So what I am going to talk about today would be the fibrous component. Just to uh, mm -hmm. tell you what are all the cellular portion. Yeah. Okay, the cells of the periodontal ligament are categorized into different components. One are called as the synthetic cells, the other are called as the resorptive cells, and then the progenitor cells, and then there is the epithelial rest of malysis, and finally there are a few different cells which are also there. And again, I'm not going to cover this topic. This topic would be covered tomorrow, right? So my topic today would be on the other component of the periodontal ligament. So when I say other components, okay, so these are components apart from the cells. So they can also be called as extracellular, meaning those substances which are away from the cell or outside the cell, which are called as extracellular. So which means we are not going to talk about the cells for today. So now as a whole, when you take periodontal ligament, it should have an amorphous gel, which is nothing but the ground substance. Within the ground substance, you have the cells, which are which 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 we may, may mentioned just before before this slide, and then you have the fibers. So those structures, apart from the cells, would be referred to as the extracellular substances. And these extracellular substances include what? They should include the fibers. Yes, they should also include the ground substance. Yes, because these do not form the part of the Cell. So these two are the other extracellular substances. Okay. So now, as far as the fibers, so what are the fibers? So the fibers would be made up of the diff these different components. One, the primary fiber of your periodontal ligament is your collagen fiber. Okay. And th then there is a principal fiber. Principal fiber is not different from collagen fiber. This collagen fiber is what is arranged into bundles, and these bundles of collagen fibers are what are called as principal fibers then there are other fibers which are called as elastic secondary reticular indifferent and sharpies fibers we have already mentioned what sharpies fibers are then coming on to the glyco ground substance the ground substance basically is made up of three different components okay like any other uh, even in bone even even in heart tissue also like like in heart tissue also the ground substance is made up of in the form of glycosamine or glycans 
proteoglycans and glycoproteins right so now we will go into individual individual things right coming on to collagen now uh, in physiology i think i think in physiology collagen formation itself is a separate uh, five mark question i'm not sure if collagen formation is done okay so if i have to take collagen formation today so that itself will take me another 45 minutes so i'm not going into details of collagen formation if you want me to talk about collagen formation then probably we'll schedule a different class and then do collagen formation so the scope of this class is not to talk about collagen synthesis and collagen formation by now you should you already should know about what how collagen is formed i have a beautiful uh, 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 story about collagen which uh, probably i think we will share it later so one of my professor taught me about uh, a story to remember how collagen uh, synthesis happens we'll talk about that later okay so now what exactly collagen is so collagen is basically a protein so when when i say a protein the where if i ask you a question which is the most abundant protein in the body so the answer would be obviously collagen because most of your places even in your heart tissues even on your soft tissues the collagen is present so the most abundant protein in your body would be called as collagen this collagen is comparable to a hair okay so i think i would have told you already in the class i'm not sure so if you take if you take hair girls you have a huge i mean a, a bunch of hair so usually girls do it as a plait they take it as three different bundles and then they start twining it with uh, another one bundle to another bundle so similarly the collagen is also a triple helix each one bundle is intertwined with each other so that is called as a triple helical structure so the collagen is a triple helical structure and each hair okay is called as a fibril and these fibrils are combined together to form a bundle okay and these bundles later intertwine with each other with co with covalent bonds so that they become stronger okay so the collagen is a single hair okay which is grouped together to form a bundle and this bundle usually is around 5 micrometers in diameter and these bundles or these collagens which form bundles are actually called as principal fibers okay so please don't con get confused with these two terms collagen collagen and principal principal fibers are nothing but the collagen fibers which are there in the periodontal ligament and which are grouped as bundles okay different groups of bundles of collagen in the periodontal ligament are called as principal principal fibers why are they called principal fibers because they are the most abundant fibers present inside the periodontal ligament so when i when i say principal fibers of a periodontal ligament it means i'm talking about the collagen fibers i'm not talking about any other fiber so the principal fibers of periodontal ligament refers to the collagen which are arranged in bundles okay so now how are this basics basic of uh, collagen how are these when i say protein when i say collagen is a protein okay this should be basically made up of amino acids okay so the primary amino acids which are present in collagen are uh, glycine leucine and proline okay so what are the types of collagen so as of now in humans there are about almost 20 25 types of collagen which have been discovered okay but what are the major type of collagen which are present in periodontal ligament so the predominant type of collagen which is present um, i mean predominant type of collagen which is present in periodontal ligament is your type 1 type 1 occupies more than 70% of your collagen in uh, periodontal ligament and the rest is about type 3 if you remember alveolar bone which i took in the previous uh, class we said alveolar bone is also made up of type 1 collagen and a little bit of type 3 collagen so where exactly was this type 3 collagen present okay so this type 3 collagen was present in the sharpies fiber okay this sharpies fiber is actually made up of the type 3 collagen so the primary bundles of collagen are made up of type 1 collagen and type 3 collagen is actually present in the sharpies fibers now if you again remember alveolar bone i said sharp we said sharpies fibers and why are we talking about sharpies fibers everywhere okay we read the sharpies fibers in cementum we read the sharpies fibers in alveolar bone and again we are reading sharpies fibers in periodontal ligament the reason being the sharpies fibers are nothing but they are the end portions of the periodontal ligament which have inserted into the cementum and inserted into the bone so which means so when we read cementum also sharpies fibers would be a part of cementum when we read bone also sharpies fibers would be a part of bone 
So when we read prodontal ligament also, we are reading about Sharpe's fibers. Okay, so that is why we are reading Sharpe's fibers in all the three different topics because they are a part of prodontal ligament which have inserted into the cementum and to the alveolar bone, right? So coming on to the uh, type of collagen, the primary collagen is type 1 and 20 to 30 percent of your collagen is type 3. Uh, people, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. no problem is I'm having a pin drop silence, so I'm not sure if people are there. Okay, right. Very good. Right. So, so you have type 1 collagen and type 3 collagen, type 1 being the predominant collagen and type 3 being the rest of the collagen, which is primarily in Sharpie's fibers. Okay. So now if you can see this picture, a black and white picture. So these, can you see these fibers here, which have a baby cores? Okay, so these fibers, these fibers are actually the collagen fibers and what you can actually appreciate in this collagen fiber is in between one, in, in one fiber, if you see, can you see uh, striations which are there in collagen? So these striations are characteristic of collagen and where and how frequently these striations occur will decide whether what type of collagen it is. Usually collagen, if you have... If I have a fiber like this, this striations usually occur at an interval of 64 nanometers. Okay, that is why everywhere when you read about collagen, they say this is collagen because of the characteristic striations at the interval of 64 nanometers, which is characteristic of collagen. Why this 64 nanometer? We have to talk about basics of collagen formation. If I have time, then we'll talk about collagen formation later, right? So this, this fiber, which has got cross striations at an interval of 64 nanometers is characteristic of collagen. So this is exactly how a fiber is there. So on the left side is your bone, on the right side is your cementum. If you see the fibers are inserting like this. Okay, so this is a longitudinal section. Suppose if I cut the fiber cross section, so you will see fibers as something like this. Right, so you will see you, when I when I cut it in a cross section. So this is how you will see these are the fibers. These are the ends of the cut ends of the fibers that you are able to see. This is how a collagen fiber will appear. Okay, so now a uh, little bit of basics of synthesis of collagen. That's why I said. So now when I say collagen, okay, so this collagen should be should uh, should have been synthesized by a cell. Which cell actually synthesizes collagen? The fibroblast. Now, so hence, when I say fibroblast synthesizes collagen, the fibroblast should be a part of your periodontal ligament. When I say fibroblast is a part of your periodontal ligament, we said there are cells of your periodontal ligament, namely your synthetic cells, resorptive cells. So, fibroblast is the primary cell of your. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So the fibroblast would have been the most important or the primary synthetic cell which is there. Okay, so fibroblast should be one of the cell of your periodontal ligament. So the fibroblast synthesizes something which is called as tropocollagen, which forms the microfibrils. Okay, so these microfibrils now will form the fibril. Okay, which is nothing but a hair-like structure. Okay, these fibrils join together to form fibers and finally they form the bundles. So this is the structure here. If you see you have a micro microfibril inside, then you have the fibril and all these fibril join together to form bundles and these bundles again will cross link together to form a huge collagen bundle. Okay, so this is basically a synthesis of collagen. Okay. So now, now, we, now we have sp uh, spoken about the basics of collagen. What collagen is? Collagen is actually a protein, which is a combination of amino acids. What amino acids are there? How do you appreciate histologically? What is the, uh, I mean, what are the, how, how, the, how is it forming? Basics of how is it forming? And finally, these collagen are grouped together to form bundles. And these bundles are what are called as principal fibers okay so now what do you understand by principal fibers principal fibers are no different from collagen principal fibers are the collagen fibers uh, but the collagen fibers which are grouped together to form bundles and they are given different names based on their location and based on their function so these are called as principal fibers okay now if you go back i said one of the important synonym of periodontal ligament is alveolodental ligament correct so why why was it called alveolodental ligament because it is arising from the alveolus and running to the uh, uh, tooth that is the cementum and that's a ligament so this principal fibers 
can also be called as alveolodental fibers. 